Morning guys. Well, we're out here on fence repair detail. I did mow around so I'm not walking in any weeds because ticks are bad this year. And uh, trying to fix up our wires here a little bit. And... Alright, we just put some of these uh, new uh, clips on. This is kind of one of our first fence here we built. Ideas for making them better. Head on out. Definitely helps mowing around your fence. The next pasture is going to be down around that piece there. We're going to mow that off and make the hay off of it. It's just the ground was too wet here with all the rain we had. Smell some mint tea? No, I found some. I see. I can smell it when I mow it down here. Let's uh, repair this one and put a new one on there. Take that one off with a screwdriver. You just prime. Actually, that in there is not too bad. It's broke, but we already have it wrapped and it's on the right side. Just take that one off down there. We'll let that one go for now. To the next one. job was uh, to always have a weed eater and go around the fence here. I don't want to get hit by my poop. Do you see what's here? Alright, we got Precious back out here and Mia. They've got to get some water. That's a good place to water right there. It's pretty level. I definitely would rather be out here today than out in the barn. Yeah. So. All right, I'm gonna get the mower and I'll probably mow around it a little bit more here. And then uh, you get water a while. Then we'll go clean up the gator a little bit. Well, we got the wife out here tonight, just in case I need a vacation. Rub them really good. Yeah. Do I do like this first? I always get the back ones first. And keep the thing pushed in. There you go. He's right there. That's what. Stands pretty good and holds her leg out. So. Yeah. Biggest thing you want to watch for is when someone walks in front of her and she doesn't recognize.
pull I'll, I'll boil a little bit. All right, this is your what, second one now? Second one. All right, it's going pretty good. I turned the tank just a little bit so the hoses are in line. She milks out very fast. This is Laylee, and she'll just dump her milk. And she'll suck air in here in about a minute. family out here tonight we got the air fans on the air it's really actually nice in here make sure your cup's full so we are using a foamer cup. So she's stripping them out there first. I'll pull the milker over. Again, she's a really good one to learn from. And we hold it right there in the middle with the one hand and then use the other hand to Sorry, come on. And she just does her thing here. Makes milk. She'll make five gallons of milk tonight. So this one here, I always do is massage your udder just a little bit. You can tell how tight it is, but that'll go real loose when she's done. It's just like a calf, it'll do the same thing. A calf will bump it and help drop the milk. Gotta teach him young. Give her some more. Everybody has to help. So this is the vacuum pump. We stuck it on the wagon here so we don't have to uh, pick it up and move it. Works really nice. It pressurizes the tank with vacuum suction. And that's what does the milking. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video here of the wife uh, milking for the first time here in our little dairy setup. want her to get used to it in case I'm out bailing or something and then she can start milking or something so overall it's pretty easy it's the biggest thing is getting the cattle used to you and how you do things but like she she won't move at all okay we're gonna do a wash here I'm gonna pressurize the tank here first There it goes. You want me to do this? I'm not sure which one. The, uh... Okay, now we just push this down and we're running a soap blend through. And then we do a Clorox rinse. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video. Wife and the boy was out helping the night, so it went really well. So usually Mondays are feed day, clean up day. And uh, he has everything nice and organized. He's hanging some nails up so he can hang stuff up. His feed came, which I had to go pick up. So Still at four calves, milking four. 
the other one will have a calf here probably, I would say three weeks from now. Um, somebody said about crossing a Holstein Pangus. We only have five crosses on the whole farm. Everything's purebred or just um, Angus, Semitol, mix. Uh, a lot of dairy farms do crosses, especially when the markets are low, to help bring in extra income. But these are all 200 uh, offspring, and they will do pretty good. Some people like a cross a little bit more than an Angus. It's a little bit more lean meat, but uh, everybody has a different opinion on them. But I still like my purebreds or uh, like the two brown there, uh, Angus Semitol. The red came from a genetic from way back. I never had any red Ang or Angus or any red animals on the farm. But uh, yeah. Little guy's hungry. All right, guys. Well, he's uh, finished cleaning up here, and uh, we'll have a video later on for milking. Hey, good morning, guys. We just finished up feeding and cleaning up the barn. We just used a leaf blower here. 